Transportation business has become a part of the human race that cannot be overemphasized based on its relevance to all, especially for personal movements and business arrangements. In the nation's capital, Abuja, it has become a norm to see four-seater cabs designed to convey four passengers conveying six passengers at the detriment of the comfort of its passengers. Despite the fact that they are choking people inside the car, they are still collecting the same amounts they are, they are supposed to they are carrying if they are carrying three at the back and one in the front. So it's just purely a act of cheating. Passengers who do not buy to this idea take to boats and Uber services, which are the two biggest ride-hailing platforms in Africa. It became a concern when Uber and boat drivers embarked on a week-long strike sometime in April 2021 as a result of the non-review of prices charged by the e-hailing companies. TOS TV News embarks on a journey with a boat driver to see what it means to run transportation business with the ride-hailing platforms in Nigeria. My name is Adekunle Astro. I'm a boat driver. That's what I do for a living. Um, here in Abuja, driving boats is a good job here in Abuja because you may be in your house, put on your harp, then you get a request from there. So, as well, if you get to town, anywhere you are, put on your harp, then you get a request from there. So it's very good. It's not like all this public ties that they will be blowing horn up and down. So I believe here in Abuja, be a boat driver is good, en is good enough. Driving is not an easy, you know, driving through the satellite town is not easy. Somewhere like Nyanya Road and all that, during closing hour like four o'clock, it has been a very terrible uh, distance. By the time you, at time you stay in the hold up for like one hour or more. The drivers who felt that pricing in their transportation business is not cost effective when compared to the cost of their services, especially as a result of unprecedented rise in the prices of fuel, vehicle spare parts, food items and other essential commodities in the country demanded for better. Uh, I think when I started, it was better. When I started riding with boat, it was better than now. Now we are not gaining much gain like before. Then when we start, ah, we can both, we can, we can easily say that, okay, in a week, I'll make 100k. But now it's not like that. You have to struggle, struggle before you make 30k in a week now. Customers are always right and treated as kings, they say. Who then is a customer to the ride hailing companies? The drivers or the e-cab users? Well, I've been using boats for a while now, and I can say... It favors both the passengers and the riders, but I think 60% for the riders, we the riders, and 40% to the drivers because it has, made com it has made transportation and movement very easy for us. No hassle, there's no stress of jumping from one bus or from one cab to the other. You sit in the comfort of your home and you order a ride and it comes to pick you at your location. So I think it has made movement easy for us. So I can say, I can categorically say it favors we the passengers, we the riders, than the drivers. They prefer customer than we that you are riding the car. Because sometimes you pick a client from the airport, assuming maybe he's going to my chama, from the airport to my chama. Before getting to my chama, when you check the when you check the price you see that it's not what you expect. Well, I wouldn't say the prices are satisfactory at all times. There are some times when the prices are hiked, when the, the, the um, rate, the price rate is really high for really short journey, for really short trips, maybe due to um, surge or due to traffic um, on the road or where you're going to. So it's not all the time that the prices are cheap or affordable. Sometimes they are, the, the, the rides are overpriced. 
In all of this, the president of Professional E-Hailing Drivers and Private Owners Association, Mr. Idris Shonuga, who had a meeting with journalists in Lagos, said the association was considering taking legal action to seek remedies against the e-hailing companies if the demand of the drivers were not met. These Uber boat platform take Umungo's commission from issues transport service we render under their uh, under their platform without our prior notice. And this is really affecting our business. For the purpose of emphasis, we want Nigerians to know who are using our service to commit to one point to another point, that we are in serious distress with the unfavorable policy of Uber and Boat. Um, the response from the, the boat company and the Uber company has been slow. It has been, it has been a low response as regards the insecurity because we keep complaining on the social media platform and the feedback platforms. So I wish they can actually put considerable measures into, into seeing how they can help um, provide security for we drivers so that we can work extra hours to keep our business going. Um, I think they are both, they are doing a very good job. They've made life easy for us, but there are still some areas that they need to improve on. Example, their drivers, some of them are very rude, some of them are arrogant, some of them are not nice, some of them just treat the riders in a very, very bad way, especially if they see their riders are females. They just talk to you anyhow and they behave, sometimes they behave very like a desk cow. So I think they need to really improve. They need to, they need to, properly train and choose the, the, um, the, their drivers and um, enlighten them, make sure, let them know that it is a job and we, the riders, are offering, they're offering us a service and in return we are paying for, we are paying for the services being offered to us so we shouldn't be treated unfairly or we shouldn't be treated in a rude way. Ifi Onyekwere reporting for TUS TV News.